Today we are going to create an interesting transition by automating two different reverbs and panning them as a transition for your song. So let's just get right into it. Let's take a quick listen to this track and get some context. <laughs> So yeah, there could be definitely an interesting transition and I am hearing two different reverbs in my head and we're going to automate them and pan them. So what we're going to do is create two different buses. And each one of these are going to be stereo pan and we're going to automate each one. So let's just label this one reverb left reverb right and I will do a high pass and low pass filter like I always do to filter out some of the mud and control those frequencies Now the trick of this is to use separate reverbs. So one channel has chroma verb and the other one could have space designer or whatever reverb that you choose. I like to have a short tail on one and a longer tail on the other to kind of create that three dimensional space effect. So I'll just do like one and a half seconds for the short one. And let's just pick a nice long plate reverb. Let's go with big choir plate. I'm just gonna drive up the wet to zero. Now, here's the cool trick. We're going to use Amp Designer just to kind of dirty them up and give them a little bit of extra character. I know it sounds weird, but hear me out. So on one, we can do the factory default, or we could go to, let's go to gemstone crunch. And the other one we could use silver dollar. Let's try that. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing now is we'll hit A on our keyboard. Well, actually let's make these into a track first, and then we can hit A on our keyboard and go to our pan, go to absolute, and we'll zoom in, activate that, and so I want the transition to end basically where the drum beat begins, so as you can see, as we drag the cursor more close to measure nine it goes all the way left and we'll do the same thing for the other reverb as well so what I can do just to make it easy is copy and paste that automation go down to the reverb right track paste that in and then just drag it down so it's opposite okay so let's give that a quick listen we're going to want to increase our send gain here and we can blend them to taste and we'll do a a and b listen okay here we go Let's drive it up just a little bit more. Okay, let's A and B that. So let's turn off our reverb just to kind of hear the difference. As you, can, as you can hear, the, uh, the reverb definitely is widening and it's just giving a subtle little transition effect that's 
maybe a little bit more interesting than a basic single reverb. And back on again. Well, there you go. Just a really quick, simple transition idea. You can play around with it. You can add some distortion to the um, amps or you don't have to use the amps at all. It's just there to kind of give it an extra character. Um, I find that it uh, makes it sound really unique and interesting. So let me know what you think about this in the comments. Give the video a like if you liked it or hit the dislike button if you didn't. Otherwise, I will see you later.